Hey everybody, Jeff here, Aromatics. Just sitting outside, getting ready to enjoy another cigar and work on my cigar journal, where I smoke a cigar that I haven't smoked before most of the time, and then I just give my opinions on it and record it so that I can remember what different cigars taste like and different profiles. Since I still am fairly new to cigars, this has helped me quite a bit. And instead of just writing it in a book, I do it in video format where I can upload it and share it with you guys as well. So today I am going to be smoking the Foundation Cigars Charter Oak, and that is a pretty, pretty looking cigar. It's got a nice uh, Pennsylvania, or I mean a Connecticut shade wrapper on there, and it is very light and no blotches, no, just a really good looking cigar and a closed foot. Now this cigar is blended by Nick Melillo, who is really big in promoting the Connecticut wrappers since he is lives in Connecticut and it's just part of his family's heritage. So the name Charter Oak comes from uh, an oak tree I guess where the char uh, some US charter was made. I don't really know much more than that but there is a story behind it. And what else can I say? The reason, actually I'll get into that once I start smoking it, but the smell I'm getting is just a woodsy, slightly grassy smell the draw is perfect and I'm getting just a basic same thing kind of a grassy almost oaky flavor as well so okay I'll get this lit up and I'll be back in a little bit let you know how it goes all right I'm back sorry for how close this video is I had to move my chair to a different location because the wind really started to pick up but this little location here seems to be a little bit better nice and calm and sunny anyway back to the cigar it is smoking flawlessly really nice burn the draw is excellent on the some people might find it maybe a little bit on the light side but I really like a light and easy draw as far as the flavors I think I'm I, my sinuses and my allergies are really hampering what I'm tasting so I'm gonna re-review this one but I'll still probably upload this one anyway just just because I'm doing it so and because of the quality, it's just, yeah, the quality of the construction is just so good. I had to at least mention that. But I can definitely tell there's some strength there, considering that it is a Connecticut shade, which is usually a very light, light flavored wrapper. Excellent smoke output. The flavors I am getting is still like a woody, oaky flavor. And there's just a heaviness to it, but I'm not really getting very many nuances other than that. So I know that there's something there and I'm just not tasting it, which is a pity. But that's as much as I can say right now, so I'm going to keep smoking it and we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so it is much later in the day and I relit this cigar and my palate has had a chance to calm down and my allergies are much better so I am really tasting this cigar now so it's been an odd review and very what's the word uh, unconventional for me to do a review this way so I'm definitely gonna have to review it again but the flavors are I'm really tasting the flavors now is it's a really strong really smoky cigar like just I'm barely puffing on it and it's just loads of smoke coming off that so I am getting there's some spice there it's not really a black pepper or a white pepper it's just sort of this kind of chili pepper spice and there's definitely flavors there it's it's very similar to the other foundation cigar the tabernacle in that there just seems to be so much strength in the smoke that it overpowers the finer nuances that you just know are there you know there's a creaminess to it but that is just being overpowered by the just this full body that it has. Now it's not a full tasting cigar. It's probably a medium as far as the taste go. But I'm getting that spice. There is a hidden creaminess. And a lot of times I get mostly an earthy, very similar to, there's a tobacco that Cornell and Deal uses, the Pennsylvania Maduro leaf. It reminds me of, it's got an earthiness like that. So earthiness, a little bit of spice, and every once in a while you'll get a hit of wood and cedar. But 
definitely interesting enough that I do want to try this one more time, as well as the Foundation Tabernacle. That was another full-bodied cigar that I really enjoyed, but I just felt like I wanted to give it one more shot to see what I really think of it. So the construction's been perfect. So yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. Definitely worth trying again, and I will do uh, another review on it so that's more complete, and I'll make sure that my palette is is right on so I can get a really accurate review of it and decide whether or not this is a cigar that I would like to smoke when I'm in the mood for a light Connecticut shade tobacco in a cigar. So okay, hope you guys enjoyed my review and I know it's a little bit longer than usual because it has been a little unconventional for a cigar review but I didn't want to pass this up and just smoke it without doing some kind of entry in my journal and share it with you guys. So hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on my next one. Take it easy. Aromatics, signing out.